hi everybody welcome back to the channel <laughs> why y'all always gotta cut up but i'm here to talk about q and play y'all know i know you i get into the drama did i drop out of the drama did i get back to the drama did i drop out of the drama because when y'all my tip is i'm like adhd person you know what i'm saying like a little kid or ADD for the adults. I can't, I can't stay in that shit. I, the, ooh, a butterfly and I'm fucking gone. You know, I just can't stay. My teacher's been, I can't do it, y'all. I just can't do it. Not for drama, I can't. But this touched me personally because I'm like Q. And I'm not saying this in a bad way because I'm, I'm like Q in so many ways. A giver. I am very much so a giver. Her actions, I saw myself. I saw myself so much in her actions. And when she was talking, it was like, I saw my face while she was speaking. And it was like me talking. Everything that that girl, woman, young lady, queen, whatever have you, how whatever she is presenting and calling herself, presenting to be whatever she wants to be called or whatever she is, I saw, and that was me not too long ago. And all I could do was sympathize with her. She was no way stupid. She was no way out of control. She was just being a good person. She was being a good person to the wrong person. We as women, I'm pretty sure most of us have gone through that. Then catered to the wrong person. Even if it's a woman to woman, man to man, whatever. However, whatever, they to they, them to them, the identity shit, you know. Whew, the world is getting crazy these days. You don't know what to call people now. I don't want to offend a bitch because y'all crazy these days. But anyway, uh, yes, I said with that word because I did the same thing. And then <laughs> what, what, what made me realize that that was totally my situation as when his when she, I think you said it's like I I gave you everything and play said well you did not give me everything oh bitch told me the same thing the same thing <laughs> I was like what I didn't give you the blood out of my body <laughs> nah I ain't never co-signed nothing for him but you know what if we was like that and we was living well we was not living together if we was living together, oh, my dumb ass probably would have. <laughs> I was just that giving. I took care of him, his kids. I made sure everybody was straight. He had the most, he had the most poor adulting behaviors ever. He will go spend his money on nonsense. I've never seen anybody go to the dollar store fucking every day. Every day, you need to go to the fucking dollar store. And you spend your money on nonsense. I ain't go get this. Go get this. You dollar store here. So it's like, instead of buying in bulk, you buying things that cost a dollar. And y'all running through that shit. You got three kids to the house. Y'all run through that shit like water. And I'm like, why do you want to go buy the big one? You can go, just, just go buy the big one. And it'll last you for a week. You go to the dollar store every day. The big one is $2.50. But you're going to buy the one for a dollar every other day. That's that's that just doesn't make any sense to me. And then you're not prioritizing your household. Uh, you're paying, you're giving out all these monies everywhere else. And then when it's rent time, you looking stupid. And then that's how you can say, oh, this is why God has blessed me with this wonderful person in my life. And they go, what? You know, at first it wasn't like that. He didn't display these behaviors. It was very 
subtle at first. It was like very like, and then it gradually got deeper and deeper and deeper. But I was in so deep, it was hard to get out of the shit. And you know, once you were in the shit, you know, smelled the shit so much, it becomes normal smelling the shit. Until you step out of the shit, do you realize how stank it is? But as long as you're sitting in the shit, it's a normal funk. But when you step out of it, you're like, God damn, that shit was stank. You know what I'm saying? And you know it. And another thing, another thing that 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 got me is when said play was like said that uh oh you. He was offering it to me, and I didn't say no. It, you a bum? It. That's that's what a bum says. <laughs> uh, a, a, a real man is not gonna take every single thing that is offered to them. A real man is not going to sit up there and even want to accept these kind of things because he's gonna feel like he's no longer a man he's gonna feel like the woman then he's gonna feel what is it called emancipated that's what else he's gonna feel he's gonna feel like he's become the woman now what man wants to feel like the woman now i mean i don't give a fuck because a man this man is simply there for financial gain and when you're simply there for that reason you don't be care you don't care about becoming the bitch because that was yours in the other way to be the bitch. So, and then she's, she's just as happy as ever because she feels like she's doing a good deed. And that's what I felt like I was doing a good deed. It made me happy to make somebody else happy. And this all comes from childhood trauma. Because when you this is where mine came from, childhood trauma. And I think hers stemmed from somewhere too. Because when you allow this sort of behavior and there nobody is giving it back to you, and you think and in your head you have given, you're giving it and you're giving it and you're giving it, and nobody is pouring it in back to you, and you have put it in your mind. Okay, I feel good because I'm saving somebody. And I'm doing good deeds. It's because nobody has never saved you. And you feel that you were doing good for saving somebody else. My childhood trauma was nobody saved me. And I felt that I need to save people. And that's all I did was try to save people. My whole entire life I was trying to save people. Nobody once ever tried to save me because I was the giver. And then when I did ran very rarely need saving, nobody ever, ever thought to come up to me and say, do you need help ever? They always left it up to me to save myself. But every time they need saving, they always look to, to me to save them. So once you become the saver, you will never live the saving to being the savior down. You will always be the savior. You and you will have to live that forever. Whether it's with your mom, your sisters, whoever. They will always look to, look to you to be the savior. And they will never try to help you any way, shape, or fashion. Because they don't think they need to help you with anything. And they won't even try because they think that you are supposed to save them forever. And it makes me think that was played a really the issue with being, well, he was a dog and he was a cheater and he was in the way for that. But was he in 65, 70% of the reason why he was in the way because he wasn't shit. And 30% of the way because he was getting away from her being their savior maybe maybe not but she did say that she took care of her family too was her her funds been in jeopardy for them too because now she has a man anyway and most of her funds was going to him because now she's so in love and so blinded by him that most of her stuff was going to go to him 
and what about them now? Will they get less? You know, now she the ration is might be not evenly anymore. It's uneven now because now we got the ration out between three people or four instead of two or three. You know what I'm saying? So maybe not. Now it's not. It's maybe not getting is what they usually get, or maybe that's not what it was at all. But it's something more that's going on with this. It's deeper than what they're saying was on the surface. They're only telling us what they want us to know. Yeah, play was a bag. It was a, a shit bag, a scumbag. Because he really searched that girl out and seek that girl out to use her because they had a one night stand. He saw who she was because she paid for the first date. They probably ate lavishly that first day. She probably paid for the steak and lobster dinner the first day and gave him some punani. And she driving a fucking beamer. And then she fucking blocked him because she knew he ain't had no fucking ambition the same day. Oh, I got to find this bitch. Who is this diamond in this haystack of bombs? As and, and I got the, I've been sleeping with this 63 year old bitch that I was cutting the grass for. I can go get this young tenderoni that I can just do, get this done for me with a young tenderoni? Let me go search her down and make her think I am, I searched and destroyed to find her because I'm so interested in her. But no, I can put this raggedy ass coon down and not cut no more fucking grass. And not rub on no more wrinkled ass skin. <laughs> I ain't got the old Miss Daisy shit else. I, I can go get this young to the Ronin. With this beam on this YouTube career. Yeah, I done researched her. I already know all about her. This is why I'm hard at running her down. Meal ticket galore. Pretend like I'm so in love. Dig her down. Because she didn't already show me she was about day one. She showed me she she should take care of me. She already showed me she, all her cards. She showed all, all her cards was right here on her chest. She showed it. She showed it right there. That's one thing we don't have because I don't show all my cards. I show a card here, there, whatever. But you can't have them all because cause I turn all them bitches face down. And you won't know them all. <laughs> I'll show a few of them. Yes, I will. But I'm not going to show them all. But she showed them all. Poor thing. That was her biggest mistake. But yes. He did that. He used that girl to the foot and sleeping with that hole in her bed. I'm jumping all around because I'm just doing this off the dome, y'all. But bear with me. But sleeping with that bitch in her bed. A uh, baby. <laughs> She is better than me because that bitch would have went right back in jail. Do you hear me? And I would have had my bike while he was in fucking jail. Because he that's what, exactly what he would have been. I would have been a damsel in motherfucking distress when he got back and using the DoorDash, my car for DoorDash for you and your bitch. <laughs> yes, you would have been in jail. Are you already on parole? <laughs> Bitch, that was just a recipe to send your ass back to jail for whatever. <laughs> Make a, oh my God, officer. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. He would be back in jail. Yes, he would have. Yes. She better than me because own thing between <laughs> if y'all want to do uh zodiac signs and maybe that's the difference between the zodiac sign right there <laughs> because my gemini ass <laughs> is a very vengeful <laughs> i want to suck i want to seek that some very vengeful shit <laughs> that bitch would have been back back in jail okay Okay, about my bed and about my shit. 
because that was the mad disrespectful. And she wouldn't, I would have never had to worry about uh, looking for my uh, motorcycle ever because I would have had my motorcycle because the bitch would have been in jail. <laughs> yes. Play wouldn't have no YouTube channel. He wouldn't have none of that because he would be in jail. I wouldn't have to worry about none of this air, not no dirty laundry because that bitch would have been in jail. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, ma'am. But anyway, and play use a insufficient, dirty, low down, rotten, dirty, scandal, dirty bastard, you know? And people like you, everybody reap what they say. <sighs> you got, you don't even need, he doesn't even, his life is revenge. Because he doesn't have anything. <laughs> he doesn't have a roof. He doesn't have a car. <laughs> he doesn't have income. <laughs> about that who in the fuck quit their job on a if on a week in a prayer on something that's not established i even teach my 20 year old daughter do not quit a job until you have an income who in the fuck does that even little kids know better than that you teach your children not to do no shit like that and a grown-ass man does that and then you don't ding you don't <laughs> and then he gonna what he he said his mama mess up his credit so you let your mama fuck up your credit at 24 years old cause when you got 7 years <laughs> 7 years and then they wipe your shit at 7 years so up to 24 years old well I guess it's plausible because you're no good as bomb ass, insufficient, fun ass nigga. So you probably was in your mother's house, uh, living in her spare bedroom or on the couch. So she was like, fuck it. Since you're gonna stay here, I'm gonna just use something up because you probably wasn't you probably had no job and you probably was uh, a felon. So she was probably like, fuck it. I'm just use your um I'm gonna just use your social security number, just use you for something. So it's it's plausible. It's pl I think it's I think it's possible. 24 years old. She probably did do it. But that is, if she did that, that's just, that just shows just how you was brought up. So that shows that you have many issues. And that shows that your upbringing was fucked up. And this is why you use women. And you, for you to go to a 63-year-old, that means that's just what you do. And you will never, ever stop. And Q, baby, you got all your lessons in one. There's nothing but up for here. Girl, stay sweet. You done got all your lessons. And you should be able to, to spot them, fly, them flags from like <laughs> three miles away. You can see them bitches coming like, ooh, uh-uh, uh, -uh, uh, -uh. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas. <laughs>